here, you carry the one, plus a two, and your answer is 38. Got it? What does that do with you? I love you! Oh, hey, sir, this is our huge problem solving project. Wow, I am intrigued. Tell me more. Wow, for that, we have to go back a long time. Okay, Alfred, COVID 19 is in full swing. We should find problems to solve to do with this in our community. I don't know, man. I don't want to get sick. It's true. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I was swamped with masks on my way to school, which got me thinking. What if these masks fit into our national parks and kill all of our wildlife? That would be awful. Which is why we should fill the swimming pool with masks. Make a mask sculpture. Come on, guys. You can't just fill a swimming pool filled with masks. Yeah. And I was like, what kind of idea is? Wait. Wow. Look at all these vents. I wonder if the caretakers will let us use some. How did you collect the masks? Well, that's thanks to this baby. Wow, how did you get it to look so beautiful? Well, we cleaned it, painted it, designed these fact sheets, and then put them out in the public for people to use. Whoa, I can't let you have the masks. There's so many of them. I could just swim in there. Okay, Alfred, I think we need to talk about the elephant. Not that elephant. So, for the competition we're holding, if we have it at primary schools, look at all these cons. It takes up teachers' time, takes our time out of school, and takes away from student learning. Yeah, but there are some pros too, like getting the designs and involving the community. That's true, but the cons clearly outweigh the pros. I know. Why don't we just use the year sevens and eights from our school? That's a great idea. What are the pros? Everything! Everything. Wait, there aren't any cons. But seriously, what's with the elephant? To keep ourselves and the public safe, we had to clean the masks. We emailed the Ministry of Health and got an officially approved method from them. First, we left them in a sealed bag for two weeks to ensure everything on the masks would die. We then sprayed them with a mixture of bleach and water and hung them up in the sun to ensure all the viruses were killed. We then put them back in a bag until we used them. How did you guys make something this good? Well, we got help from a local artist named Lorella, who helped us make this frame. We then got the masks, sewed them together, and then attached them to the frame. This is us displaying our sculpture in Fukuoka, the biggest museum in our region. And that's the end of our story. Wow, it's so cool how you turn something so horrible like COVID-19 into something so beautiful.